Hi there, welcome to Fast Cuts. Deep Impact is a 1998 American science fiction disaster film, directed by Mimi Leder, written by Bruce Joel Rubin and Michael Tolkien, and starring Robert Duvall, T. Leone, Elijah Wood, Vanessa Redgrave, Maximilian Schell, and Morgan Freeman. Steven Spielberg served as an executive producer of this film. The film depicts the attempts to prepare for and destroy a 7-mile, 11-kilometers-wide comet set to collide with Earth and cause a mass extinction. In the opening scene of the movie, we can see some students of the astronomy club standing on top of a hill and watching the stars through the telescope. Our hero Leo and heroine Sarah were also on that team. While they were watching through the telescope, their professor asked Leo to identify the unique and more glittering star in the sky. But Leo was unable to identify it. Then the professor looked through the telescope and doubted that it might be a satellite. Professor asked Leo to take a photograph of the star and send it to Dr. Wolf, who is a well-known astronomer. When Dr. Wolf received the photograph, and searched for it on his computer. He was shocked to see the result. It was not a satellite or star. It was a big comet coming against the Earth at high speed. Dr. Wolf tried to inform about this to higher authorities. But due to network failure, he could not send the details. He copied all details to a CD and went to office of higher authorities in a car. On the way, he was trying to contact somebody while driving. But due to overspeed and careless driving, Dr. Wolf's car collided with a truck and fell into a deep valley, resulting in his death. In the next scene, we can see certain incidents, which happened after one year of Dr. Wolf's death. Mr. Alan Rittenhouse, who was a secretary in the White House, resigned due to the ill health of his wife, and the news about this was spreading. In a TV channel office, discussions were going on about the resignation of Mr. Allen. Jenny, who was an assistant to a higher official there, was telling that she knows Allen's wife, and she is an alcohol addict. When asked, she also informed them that her son died of leukemia, and after that only she became an alcohol addict. Then Jenny informed her boss about a new project, but her boss had not shown any interest in it. In the next scene, Jenny was talking with her mother. Jenny's father was planning a second marriage. They were discussing that. Mother told her that. The stepmother is just two years elder to Jenny. They talked for a while, and Jenny left the place saying that she has some urgent work. Jenny was talking to a lady who was an assistant to Alan. Jenny asked her whether she knows anything about the resignation of Alan. She replied that she was working sincerely with Alan for quite some time. She trusted him, but he cheated on her. She said he had relations with a few other ladies. He had a private phone in his office. Whenever he gets a call on that phone, he used to close the door and talk. Jenny asked her whether she knows the name of any of the ladies he used to contact. She replied that once she heard the name Ellie, and she thinks that the president also knows about Ellie, as they were talking about Ellie once. In the next scene, Jenny was going to Alan's house. When she reached Alan was packing dresses and food items for many days and shifting them to the boat. When Jenny asked, Alan told her that he is going to his own house. Then she asked him about his resignation. Alan told her that he resigned because his wife is not in good health, and this has been told to everybody many times. He has nothing else to reveal. Then she asked him about Ellie. Alan got shocked when Jenny asked him about Ellie. After thinking for a while, Alan told Jenny that she might be thinking of a breaking news in her hand. But the reality is not known to her. Alan left the place after saying that. He wants to live with his family. While Jenny was returning from Alan's house, few people followed her in a car and told her that they are from the FBI and took Jenny in their car. She was taken to a posh place where the president was waiting for her. The president told her that she is having vital information in her hand, but it is wrong. The information about ELE is also absolutely wrong. The president requested her not to broadcast the wrong information through her channel. The president continued saying that he was planning to divulge this information within two weeks to the world, but now it is not advisable to delay in divulging the information. He also said that he will inform the public about this vital information through a conference and told Jenny not to share the information with anybody else. Jenny agreed on the condition that she should be given the first chance to ask questions to the president after the conference and he agreed. Jenny was searching for Ellie on her computer but she was not getting any good results. Then she decided to change the spelling of Ellie and searched for ELE. She was shocked on seeing the results. ELE means extinction level event, and the extinction of dinosaurs from Earth was such an event. In the next scene, Jenny met her father and stepmother in a restaurant. Jenny was not feeling comfortable talking to them. Her father told her that he was so sad that Jenny had not turned up for their marriage. Her stepmother gave her a gift, 
which Jenny doesn't like. Jenny had a few drinks and asked her father to return to her mother as she needs him along with her. Jenny's father was shocked to hear her request and told her that he was just married and her mother and he had decided to separate because of personal reasons. Jenny got angry and left the place soon, now in the White House. It was time for the conference by president. Quite a large number of news reporters were there. When Jenny reached there, her boss asked her why she came there. Before she answered, somebody invited her to the front row and she sat there. Then the president came there and addressed the people gathered there, saying that he has an important matter to inform the people. He continued saying that. It might be a shocking news. But there is nothing to worry about. A boy named Leo saw a unique star in the sky last year. To know more about that star, that boy took a photograph and sent it to Dr. Wolf, who was an astronomer. Dr. Wolf realized that it was a comet coming against Earth at high speed. But unfortunately, he met with an accident and died the same day. In the past few years, comets and rocks have fallen to the Earth, but not very dangerous. But this comet is very large, and it is the size of New York City. It is bigger than Mount Everest, though it is rotating the sun at present. It may fall on the Earth within a year. For two years, US and Russia together are developing a spaceship to prevent the comet from falling onto the Earth. Then he introduced the team members for the space mission. After explaining these, the president asked for any questions. Then Jenny asked him why this matter was not informed to the public earlier. Then the president replied her saying that they were trying to stop this comet from falling onto Earth. And also if the information is passed to people earlier it will create panic among them. Then Jenny asked him why Secretary Allen has resigned, and President replied that he resigned due to personal matters. At the same time, Leo was in his house watching the conference of the president on TV. His family and friends were very happy, and many people came to his house to meet him. Sarah, his girlfriend also came there. In the next scene, we can see Leo has been honored in his school. In the meeting, he said that Dr. Wolf discovered this comet. But he is extremely happy to be part of this discovery. Now it is a party of the people working for the space mission. They were discussing about the comet. They were going to the comet in a spaceship named Messiah. Their target was to explode the comet into small pieces with the use of different types of nuclear bombs. They were getting ready for the mission. In the next scene, it was the countdown of the launch of the spaceship. The family members of the crew also reached there, and the rocket has been launched. After four months, the spacecraft was about to reach the comet. They were making the bombs and other equipments ready. They have reached very near to the comet, but it is not very easy for them to get down in the comet to plant the bombs. It is because the comet is very near to the sun, and when one side of the comet faces the sun, the other side becomes dark. In this dark side only they can plant the bombs. They have to get back into the spacecraft before the sunlight came to that side. It was very difficult for the spacecraft to land in the comet. After facing many difficulties, the spacecraft landed on the comet. Jenny was broadcasting all information related to the space mission. Four people came out of the spacecraft and landed on the comet. They were drilling the surface of the comet to plant the bombs. They lost some time in between as one bomb got stuck there. Before they were getting back to the space craft, sunlight came. One among them looked at the sun, and he lost his eyesight, and his body was burned. Others helped him to get inside the craft. Suddenly some holes formed in the comet and very powerful wind was blowing from the holes. One among them was trapped in the wind, and all three others got into the spacecraft. They could not save the fourth person. After traveling a while from the comet, they blasted the comet. While blasting, the spacecraft also got some damages and lost connection with the control room on Earth. In the next scene, a call came to the president's office. All were shocked to hear the news received in that call. Suddenly president convened a conference and explained everything. He said the Messiah mission turned out to be a failure. The bombs implanted by the team could not destroy the comet completely, but it split into two pieces. These two pieces of comet are approaching the Earth at a greater speed. The small part of the comet is 1.5 miles in length, and the bigger part is 6 miles in length, but that small portion might fall into the sea at a very high speed which may create the situation worse, as there is a fair chance of a very large tsunami. Now we have lost contact with people in spacecraft, and the situation is not known. Because of this, we have to take some decisions right now. We have been making strategies to destroy the comet since we were known about it. We have even taken arrangements to accommodate people in case the comet falls into the earth. We have made large underground bunkers which have a capacity of only 10 lakhs people. We have already selected 2 lakhs people like doctors, soldiers, scientists, teachers, etc. The remaining 8 lakhs people to be selected should be below the age of 50. In that bunker, apart from the food required for the people, 
there will be animals and birds. To control the situation, curfew will be declared all over the country. Other countries also made arrangements like this to save people. Action will be taken against those who try to create problems. The president concluded by saying that all should pray to God. Leo and his family were in their house watching the conference with the president on TV. Then they got a call informing them that Leo and his family is selected for the bunker. But Sarah and her family were not selected, and Leo becomes very sad. The people in the spacecraft were taking first aid for the injuries they got. They have planned to return to Earth. In the next scene, we can see Jenny going to meet her mother, since she is above 50. She was not selected for the bunker but Jenny was selected. Jenny's mother was pacifying her, saying that her paintings were taken to the bunker, and she will be remembered even if she dies. Jenny was very sad that she could not take her mother to the bunker. In the next scene, Leo was going to the top of the hill in search of Sarah. She was sitting there sad. Leo suggested Sarah should marry him, so that he can take her also to the bunker. But Sarah was saying that she will not come to the bunker without her parents. Leo said if she marries him, her parents also will become members of his family, and all of them can go to the bunker. She agreed and they got married. After a few days, the soldiers came to Leo's house to take his family to the bunker. When the soldiers came there, they realized that in the list along with Leo and family, only Sarah's name was included, but not her family members. They pleaded with the soldiers, but in vain. Sarah firmly told that she won't come to the bunker leaving her parents there. Unwillingly, Leo and his family went to the bunker with soldiers. Many people realized that they can't go to the bunker, and the angry people started looting shops and putting shops on fire and buildings. While Jenny was working in the office, she received a phone call from the hospital informing her that her mother died. She became very sad hearing about the death of her mother. She went to the hospital and took all belongings of her mother. While she was returning from the hospital in rain, her father came in his car and invited her, but she did not go with him. Her father felt very sad about this. In the next scene, we can see some people doing strikes in front of the bunker, but soldiers are not allowing them into the bunker. We can see elephants, camels, horses, birds, etc. taken to the bunker in vehicles. Leo and his family reached there in a vehicle, but Leo went to meet Sarah as soon as he got out of the vehicle. In the next scene, Jenny's father came to her office to meet her, as he was moving to another city. He gave a few photographs to her. It was Jenny's childhood photographs. Her father asked her whether she remembers her life at the time when these photographs were taken. She replied that as she was very young, she is not remembering. He left the place after giving the photographs to her. Jenny was watching the photographs and remembered her mother. In the next scene, President was addressing the public on live and was telling everyone that all missiles were failed and the comets are fast approaching the Earth. The small comet will fall into the sea within 12 hours, resulting in a very large tsunami. After three hours from the fall of the small comet, the big one will mostly hit Canada. It will beat tsunami on one side and on the other side, the disaster is more dangerous, leaving half of the city drowned in the sea and the remaining half will get destructed. Jenny was sitting in her office, and she was sad as she is selected to go to the bunker, but none of her colleagues, including her boss. Others were also sitting sadly there. Leo went to Sarah's house in search of her, but there was nobody in her house. Leo took the bike of Sarah's father and went to the town in search of her. On the way, he saw Sarah and her family in a traffic block, and Sarah became very happy seeing Leo. Her parents compelled her to go with Leo thinking at least their life will be saved. Sarah agreed, and she took her younger brother also with her. In the next scene, Jenny goes to the room in which her boss and child are sitting. She sent them to the bunker in her place. Then Jenny took the car to drive to her father's beautiful house, which was situated on the seashore. When her father saw Jenny coming to his house, he became very happy. Jenny told him that she was well aware of the most beautiful days in her life when the photographs given by him were taken and she told a lie when the photographs were given to her. Telling all these, she embraced her father and cried. Now, the small comet has reached the atmosphere of the earth. It will fall into the sea in a short time. Jenny and her father were standing on the seashore and watching the comet coming. The comet falls and because of that, a blast occurred underwater in the sea. About 3,000 feet high tsunami has been formed, and it is approaching very fast, destroying everything. Jenny and her father fell into the tsunami and died. The tsunami washed away large buildings, vehicles, and everything. Lacks of people died. A major portion of that city has been destroyed in that tsunami. We can see Leo going to the top of the hill with Sarah on the bike. The people in the spacecraft were well aware of what is happening on Earth. They discussed the depth of the disaster when just a 1.5-mile-long comet fell into the sea. In such case, if the bigger comet falls into the Earth, 
the depth of disaster will be terrific. They have decided to sacrifice their life to save all the people on Earth. They have planned to hit the comet with their spacecraft to blast it into small pieces. Before blasting the comet with their spacecraft, they talked to their family members and were happy to know that they all are safe. But they have not informed them about their plan of sacrificing their life to save all others. They decided to die for all and hit the big comet with the spacecraft. The big comet blasted and broke into small pieces. These small pieces transformed into ashes when they reached the atmosphere of the Earth. Leo, Sarah, her younger brother, and some other people were on top of the hill and saved their life. Now the president is addressing the nation, saying that, we have seen that the large comet has been blasted into small pieces and turned into ashes. But the damage and loss due to the fall of the small comet were exorbitant and took the life of a large number of people. Buildings, agricultural land, city everything destroyed the same thing happened in some other countries also in a few days the water will flow back into the ocean we can search for the missing people and we can build new houses for them we can rebuild all destroyed buildings but now we have to think of the brave ones who sacrificed their lives for all of us we won't get them back but they all will be in our minds forever and will be honored i am talking about the brave astronauts who saved us by sacrificing their life. We should teach about them to the next generation also. The president concluded by saying that we can start a new life from here. The movie ends here. Hope everyone liked it. We'll be back with yet another amazing move. Until then, bye from Fast Cuts.